So we figured that all of us should have a, should control the budget. In a uh, in Japan, we had no, they had um, vending machines, right, uh, with drinks between 100 and 160 yen. And so the um, so whenever we want to buy something from the vending machine, we would go through Oliver. So he was like kind of like the treasurer. And so I'll um, never underestimate the kids. Um, just how, how fun it you can be. Him. Yeah, how how fun it can be for them to just take the money. Ask the, ask the parent what they want, put it into that machine, select and just give it to the parent and they actually feel a sense of satisfaction around it. Um, the empowerment and, and it was a very, it was a nice transaction and because of that they learned how to calculate and to keep you know, track of the finances. What stopped him from blowing out the budget on Pokemon cards? No, nothing did. It blew up. Yeah, we had to reset the budget after a while and uh, we, we reset the budget after we said that, okay, this next batch of money is coming from the Chinese New Year money and his, his Chinese New Year takings. And he said, uh, oh, OK. And after that, he became more judicious about it. So uh, kids do understand, uh, even if they don't really understand the opportunity cost concept, they slowly get it. Yeah. He's seven, year old, uh, seven years old now. Uh, yes. And my question is, is it going to stick? Because financial literacy, as we all know, it's a lifelong oh. learning process. It does get very challenging in the teenage years when you consider the impact of social media, the ease of online shopping, access to credit card. Oh. They may have their own credit card. How do you convince a young person about financial planning? So, so we want to be able to... We want to be able to keep them engage on um, age-appropriate matters. So for a seven-year-old, we want to make sure that they understand what savings is. But, but I think uh, us as adults um, and, and kids, they just come up so quickly. And very recently, he asked me about Bitcoin. Oh. And I was like, what? How on earth do you understand what Bitcoin is? So I got myself something <laughs> physical in here and I tried to explain, or rather I'm trying in the process to explain the whole demand and supply. I'm not even going to go into blockchain. Um, but it's one of those things that we have to be very age appropriate about. And, and were very they convinced? Um, was Oliver convinced no, of the had, merits of cryptocurrencies? He had no idea. Uh, he, he had no idea what currency actually meant. So uh, it's this whole lifelong journey of teaching them how to save first, teaching them the value the relative value of things and then being able to be disciplined about it and then the whole issue of interest rates and debt and debt comes in as, uh, as, they, as they get older.